This is the magnesium I use to maintain my, uh, obviously my magnesium in my saltwater tank. Um, th I think I paid like 11 bucks for 300 grams of this, and this treats, I'll let you guys watch my tank while I'm finding that. Oh, sorry guys, up to 2,400 gallons, powder form. Really, really concentrated stuff. Um, the idea behind keeping your magnesium, and, and one of my one of my pieces of advice is do not dose for anything you are not testing for. Don't dose for anything you're not testing for. Don't do it. That said, so magnesium, Red Sea Magnesium Test Kit, those two. Magnesium, apparently, is the fulcrum that calcium and alkalinity balance on. So if you're, cal if you're having trouble with your calcium, being too low, not being able to get it up, you may need to have your magnesium be a little higher. Before I before I started dosing with magnesium, my uh, I, I couldn't get my calcium above 400, and I was dosing with Brightwell. Hey, there's the row, Grandma. I was dosing with Brightwell Code A and Code B, dosing with quite a bit of the Code A, um, and it wouldn't come up. So uh, the local store person said to check your magnesium, and sure enough, it was right around 11:25 or so. Um, now it's back up to around 1400, especially since I changed my salt to sea chem, um, the magnesium stays where it's supposed to. So when, the, when, uh, the, uh, when your magnesium is low, calcium and alkalinity can shift, m picture my other hand on the right, calcium and alkalinity can shift quite a bit more um, to this. Calcium, alkalinity, they, they kind of go on a roller coaster ride when uh, your magnesium is where it's supposed to be, your calcium and your alkalinity stay a little bit more balanced, um, which is good. Um, so, know what your magnesium is. Dose for magnesium. Also use reefroids. Good stuff.